If you believe in the Bible, if you do, mm -hmm. then you see in your own Bible things that do not make sense from your Trinity. Because if they're co-equal, how can one be calling the other my God and worshiping the other? According mm -hmm. to you. Please. Because ser servitude and servitude has nothing to do with ontology. Uh, that's just to do with role, your status. Like for example, you 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 serve your you serve your let me come on, brother. Go ahead, I'm listening. Serve, I just want to understand you. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. You serve your boss at work. You're under you yeah. you submit to your boss's authority at work. Yes. Yet you guys are both human. So you're equal in, in nature because you guys are both human, yet you he you're great, your boss is greater than you because he has a higher status than you in the workplace. So having a higher status is not the same as uh being more valuable or greater ontologically. Can I, I wanna I, people are in a nation or in a family. How many are in a family? You could have one family with many individuals in it, and you can have one nation with many individuals in that nation. Now, this analogy is guilty of the heresy of polytheism, because to have one nation with many different people in it and one family with many different families in it, if the Trinity was like that, then that would be polytheism, right? It's absolutely absurd. So it does nothing to actually elucidate the doctrine. And we'll see that all of these examples are heretical. That results in the heresy of polytheism, or there being three gods. Uh, ya yeah, Allah, I know you've taken all their intellect away, but give them just a tiny bit back, just to make our lives easier. Oh, shoot.